What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. The 24th of April, we're taking a look this morning at CTX USD. So this will be a Cryptex Finance video. Uh, the pair is uh, USD. So Cryptex Finance slash the United States dollar daily chart. Coinbase here will be the price data. Very large move here in CTX. We're going to talk about a couple levels we've had on the chart for a while now. I want to show you a great example of when markets break down and then actually go in the opposite direction. This is a perfect example. This also drives home the fact that if you enter a position either bullish or bearish and do not have some kind of an exit if it goes against you, how you can find yourself in trouble pretty, pretty quick. CTX rallies right up to one of our resistance levels. Guys, let's talk about it. Got a lot of green on the screen on the right hand side. Got a lot of green on the screen this morning. CTX, guys, Cryptex Finance. We have two important levels of support 423 and 417 right here below the market. These levels got broken big time on the 12th and the 13th of April, guys. 12th and the 13th, we got a very bearish break lower. We quickly tested those again on the 15th. Once again, on the 16th, look at that candle on the 16th and look how we closed right at our 423, 417 area. Let's zoom in on the chart for people viewing this on a smaller, uh, smaller device, maybe a mobile or iPad or something. You can see this level playing the markets. We traded sideways a little bit. Once again, played them, played those levels again yesterday, uh, on the 21st of April and then got a huge bullish break on the 22nd. So this is a key example how markets can break in a new direction, back test, and then actually move in the opposite direction. The, the same thing can happen in a bullish move. You get a bullish breakout higher in price. Like if you flip this chart upside down, you would get a bullish break higher in price, and then actually the markets would fail. So this goes to show that the market broke bearish, back tested, and then actually huge rally in the opposite direction. So it gets a lot, it gets a bunch of retail on one side of the market and then completely flips. And gets them on the other side, you know. And some of this could be sh covered. Um, some of this could be caused, I should say, by, you know, short covering. Um, that's at least what they say. But it goes to show that you need to be nimble in the markets. So if if you were looking to enter this position, you know, maybe you're like, hey, you know what? I want to get short here. I think it's going lower. Well, you would have good reason to think that on the twelfth and the thirteenth, right? So the way I would trade would be, okay, I'm getting, I'm going short. I'm getting bearish. I have my stops in place just in case this doesn't work out. There's a good chance that stop would have been hit on the 15th or if not definitely the 16th. And it would have worked out quite well as this thing went on to rally much, much higher than the highs on the 16th, another 30 plus percent. So anyways, very bullish here on this so far. Doesn't mean it'll hold, but after seeing a fail, a failed short here on uh, Cryptex Finance, and then seeing a big, big rally, um, you know, it's interesting. We'll see. We're back in this consolidation. We have resistance above the market. The market moved up just about to our six seventy five level. We hit a high yesterday of 667 if you go back to the older cryptex finance videos 675 is the level i have had on the chart market got up to that level and pulled back we'll see where we go we'll see if we just stay range bound between four uh you know basically four to six dollars or can this thing start to gain some momentum and get above that once we get above 675, if we get above 675 for CTX, we have the highs over here. I believe they are 779. 
Uh, 781 are the highs. They were put in on the 15th of March. And then right above that, we have a next level to shoot for, which is 810. $8.10 right now. We're at 506. 506 above that. Eight above that, excuse me, 964. Below the markets, we could pull all the way back to 423, maybe even 417 on the downside. But so far, this thing looks like it's getting ready to make a, another run up. We'll see. You really want to break the highs over here on the 15th of March. That would put the price up above 781. And then, like I said, 810, 964 are in front of that price. Time will tell. This thing looks quite bullish. We just want to see the momentum continue here to the upside. Um, for the bulls, that is, if we start to really, really trade lower uh, in a in a aggressive fashion, getting us below 423, even 427, this could just be a another whipsaw event, and we could actually start to see the prices move quite a bit lower. So we're kind of in the middle here, but this thing is weighed heavily to the bullish side right now. Really interesting to see uh, an important area of support break. Quickly, quickly get back tested, hold the price back for a couple days. I mean, it held the price back on the 15th, 16th, 17th, and then it was tested again on the 21st, and then got a very big move higher, a close above it on the 22nd. Another big, big move here on the 23rd that was up 12%, but it was up a lot more to that intraday, and uh, today so far, pretty quiet. Cryptex Finance, guys, let me know your thoughts. Like I said, the price is above the market. 675, 781, 810, 964, all above the market here. Below the market, 423, 417. You want to see those hold for this bullish move to continue. Are you bullish? Are you bearish on Cryptex Finance CTX, United States dollar? This is the Coinbase chart. Let's see our highest price targets right now on Cryptex really going out here all the way up to 21 and then 15 is below that. Uh, you know, I don't know if we'll get there, but that's the highest targets I have right now is 2105 to the upside. Very, very large move, um, but it can happen quick. So we'll see. No guarantees, of course, that's puts the price up about 300 percent. That would be incredible. You get, if you start to get a couple days like yesterday, you'll find yourself up there pretty quick. But we have some big levels to break above before we can talk about a $21 Cryptex Finance. Does the move hold? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and join us here on the channel. All links down below does help support. Let's see what happens. Please make your own financial decisions.